Hey everyone, welcome back. So let's understand chain of thought prompting. So chain of thought prompting technique is very important from the testing space or from testing point of view or if you are working in any other domain as well in generative AI understanding this concept and how you can use chain of thought prompting is very important. Now what exactly it is? It's a technique wherein you force the AI model or you guide the AI model to reason step by step before providing the answer. Now chain of thought prompting simulates the human like reasoning. So like as a human being, say for example, we are trying to do some calculations, mathematical calculation, we have certain reasoning that we put in. If we have to add two numbers, we have to subtract numbers, we have to multiply, we put certain reasoning in there before we arrive at the answer. Similar reasoning you can provide by chain of thought prompting technique to the AI so that you can get answers which are accurate and exactly what you're looking for rather than straight away asking a mathematical question which generative AI might get hallucinated with and might not be able to answer you go ahead and provide chain of thought prompting technique and you will get relevant answer. So if we talk about some of the examples now I'll go ahead with the testing space first thing. So here in the chat GPT, I want to ask, say for example, I want to do some calculation around the test case execution that has been done. Okay. So I'll say 20 test cases are executed. Okay. Then out of those 25 got failed, two are skipped due to external dependency and rest are passed okay so now this is the prompt that i have provided now what i'll do is i'll say let's think step by step okay so this is something which i want to ask this is the prompt so now here as i have provided let's think step by step this will now the ai will go ahead and think step by step before coming up with the answer okay so let's see how uh, if i provide this prompt what happens what is the outcome so you'll see thinking longer for better results analyzing test case results now clarifying execution and coverage now as soon as you will say i have mentioned let's think step by step you will see the generative ai the large language model is thinking little deeper and now you will see the outcome is let's break it down cleanly and decide what to do next a quick math, math it has done total test case plan 20 skipped actually executed you'll see now automatically because i have done step by step thinking and i have prompted for step by step thinking so 20 minus 2 is 18 okay that's the actual executed because two have been skipped and then failed were five so passed is equal to 20 minus 2 minus 5 which is 13 that's how many test cases are actually passed now if we talk about the key metrics it has provided me the key metrics as per the calculation it has done it has done the uh, the execution coverage overall pass rate overall fail rate skip rate everything has been calculated then in immediate action step by step triage the five failures because i have mentioned that five have five got failed two were skipped so that means 13 passed what to do with the five ones five the ones that that, that got failed handle the two skipped external dependency right you can add mock stubs send point stabilize the suite communicate status then one slight test summary all of that straight away being provided you accurately by generative ai with just one line in there now you can imagine this whole math preparing the immediate actions the key metrics if you want to go ahead and do manually how much time it would have taken but important thing is do not blindly go ahead and copy paste everything make sure you cross check that the calculation because ai make makes mistake it can make mistake it's not 100 percent foolproof so depending on how good your prompt is you will get the answers better now because i have asked about the let's think step by step it has thought step by step and chain of thought prompting it has provided me good result in there okay so this is one of the example from the testing space now why exactly if we talk about why exactly this works or why this method works because if you say step by step or you do you force the ai you guide the ai to think step by step then it doesn't jump to the answer straight away 
it walks through the whole logic like a human being and then provides you the answer and then the mistakes are reduced because it is thinking from the human lens from human perspective and that's where it becomes really helpful in the testing space wherein you have to prepare the test summary or the key test metrics to add into your test reports now if you talk about which areas in testing you can use chain of thought prompting almost everywhere but then mostly in your test reporting you will find it very very helpful test data generation root cause analysis when you are analyzing the bugs for example you have done the test execution and based on that you have found certain defects similar chain of thought prompting you can provide and you will get the detailed report around the bugs test case generation as well these are some of the areas now if we talk about the types of chain of thought prompting even in chain of thought prompting you have the zero shot chain of thought prompting and few shot chain of thought prompting now the one that i have explained here let's think step by step i have added let's think step by step when you add this text this phrase into your prompt that is zero shot chain of, chain of thought prompting because there is no example that i have provided just add at the phrase let's think step by step and ai started thinking step by step and provided me the answer then the next type is the few shot chain of thought prompting wherein you provide few examples how you want your answer to be for example if we want the answer in a specific format then we provide that format as well to get the few shot chain of thought prompting results in the format that i'm looking for otherwise whatever best format ai will think when you say let's think step by step it will it will provide you whatever best format it has thought accordingly to you but if you want specific format provide some examples as i have explained in the few shot prompting in the previous video now finally the overall tip around the outcome that you get always whenever you are prompting always make sure that you review the ai output do not straight away go ahead and say for example okay this looks good i'll straight away copy and paste in the report and share it make sure each and every line that you have been suggested here you go ahead and cross check that before you put it into the report and make use of it use of it now making use of it will definitely help you and expedite your overall reporting and all other activities within the testing space or any other domain space but making sure that you cross check you ensure that whatever you are sharing with other team members and stakeholders is correct in terms of calculation in terms of all the attributes from your project perspective then including the constraints including the example format length is also very important even though i have explained the chain of thought zero shot chain of thought prompting this one but then having the few shot chain of thought will have the format and result in the expected format that you are looking for so that will reduce your work as well okay so these are some of the key tips that you can take for chain of thought prompting so that's all for this video thank you see you in the next one